Hey, this is Chris from JPBM. Uh, so, I noticed one morning that our video didn't appear on YouTube. I upload like every morning at the same time. I was like, oh, maybe I just forgot to put the correct date or something. Sometimes with the time zone difference between Japan and America, the dates get messed up if I'm not paying attention. So I'm like, ah, whatever, I'll just check it when I get home. So then I check YouTube, and it's like, you guys have one strike against your channel. Like, what the fuck? Why? We're not even popular. How the fuck do we get a strike? So, uh, then I check that, and it says, uh, hold on, let me look at this email that they, you know, were so happy to give us. Um... Hi, JPBM. Our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our hate speech policy. We've removed the following content from YouTube. Video. Kirby18. She was out of it, and I was into it. I don't know how this could possibly be related to hate speech. I mean, the the title's a joke title anyways, but what the fuck is that in reference to? Uh, first of all, we're a comedy channel. Like, we're mainly comedy. Second of all, we're two Americans who live in Japan. And we often talk about the hatred we receive for being not Japanese and living in Japan. So, it's just kind of ironic that we're being... I guess, stricken because of hate speech, which we do say a lot of crazy shit, but none of it's, like, hateful. It's maybe a little emotional or maybe angry or something, but we're never, like, actually hating people. But, okay, so they gave you the opportunity to, uh, I guess ask why you can either ign it was so weird you can either ignore it and then it'll say like are you sure you want to ignore it? you don't want to pursue this further like what the fuck uh, okay so they either give you the the option to ignore it or to look into it and see if you can get the strike removed and get like they deleted the whole video by the way which would be nice if they would give you a fucking warning up front. They did. They, I just looked at the email. It was like, your video's gone. How about you email me? We'll delete your video in three days if you don't download it and save. Like, what the fuck is just like, eh, gone. That was in fucking Kirby. We streamed that over a year ago, probably. And it's Kirby 18, so I have to fucking go back through... All those Kirby streams and go, where was this 28 to 38 minute long chunk that I fucking spent all that time editing? <laughs> Which, whatever, fuck it. I guess that video's just gone. Um, so, anywho, I... After YouTube was like, no, you don't want to pursue this? I was like, okay, I've never had this happen. We're always getting random... Copyright claim. We got a copyright claim for music that was in the Yakuza game. I think it was Yakuza th 2 or 3. The volume was a little high and it was like, this is copyright. It's in the game. I'm sorry we're playing the game. <laughs> fuck? I think you guys need a little better AI or whatever the fuck you're doing for all this shit. Uh, so anyway, I look into it. And I just typed one sentence, which was something to the degree of, what is it that we were cop or not copyright? Sorry. What is it we were? How how did this constitute hate speech? Like what was it that constituted this as hate speech? Because we say a lot of crazy shit, and it, they give you the opportunity here. Here's the opportunity for you to rewatch your own video. Why am I rewatching it? Tell me what part was it? If it's copywritten, if it's music or some shit, they will say. This 30 seconds was not okay. 
But hate speech is just like, here's your video, go rewatch it. If it's hateful, I don't want to rewatch it. <laughs> so can y'all fucking tell me what I just said? What what part like what part was hateful? Um, and then they sent me an email. They they sent me an email back like within like thirty minutes. I'm like, it's probably a thirty five minute video. Did you even watch it? So uh, they just sent me an email back saying, "Hi, JPBM." We have reviewed, sorry, reviewed. We have reviewed your appeal for the following video. Kirby 18, she was out of it and I was into it. We reviewed your content carefully. Carefully? You sent me this email almost as soon as I got done typing the fucking thing. Um, and have confirmed that it violates our hate speech policy. We know this is probably disappointing news. <laughs> Prob probably. Probably. <laughs> but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. Really? I've seen some fucking crazy ass YouTubers who are making money off your channel and you don't give a shit about them. Uh, but we're a problem because we're fucking not even important. Like nobody's even watching our videos. What the fuck? Uh, that's another thing. This video is so old. How was it not considered hate speech a year ago? Is the, is the term ever evolving? How can I keep up? I'm sure they'll email me. Actually, you're not allowed to say, uh, fucking, uh, door opener anymore. Door opener is hateful speech against, uh, fucking Cubans. I just made that up because I was looking at a door. I couldn't think of anything funny to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Okay. How does this impact your content? We won't be putting your contact back up on YouTube. Oh, thanks. If your appeal was for a warning, which it wasn't, you know that, uh, you will not be given another warning in the future. Does that mean if I never appeal for my warnings, uh, then they won't you know, worsen? Like, what is that? Is that kind of a threat? Um, if your appeal was for a strike, the strike will remain on the channel. Remain? Like, forever? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, you can find more information about warnings and strikes at the YouTube Help Center, which I'm sure is just full of fucking help. They couldn't even help me when I literally said, what was the problem? Excuse me, what what was the problem with our video? We reviewed it and it was a problem. Oh, thanks. You guys are so kind. Um, so, uh, I don't give a shit because we're not making money anyways. Uh, it's just shocking that they would fucking, one, give us a hate speech comment or a strike. And then it's like you can't upload for a week. Which is a weird punishment. I fucking hate Chinese people. Oh, maybe a week he'll be fine. What? <laughs> oh, okay. I think uh, two strikes has said it was a two-week ban. Oh, wow. You just doubled the fucking ban. I fucking hope all Arabs die horribly in this fucking Israel-Palestine debacle. Eh, two weeks off will be fine for him. What? <laughs> Uh, okay, so, uh, I guess my main problem is, well, one, I can't upload, so what, but whatever, I mean, I'll just do it in a week, so, but two, YouTube is fucking filled with hate speech, uh, we live in Japan, so I'm constantly getting, uh, these fucking anti-foreigner videos from Japanese channels and from foreign channels too. So, but when I, yes, last night when I go on YouTube to fucking, uh, get more information on this, the first fucking video that YouTube is directing to me is called Why Japanese Hate Working with Foreigners. Well, I guess I was in a salty mood, so I flagged that as hate speech. 
and I will I will look into that in the future to see if that's taken down. It's from that Paolo from Tokyo guy. All of I mean, the title is clearly just clickbait. Because his videos are just like, yo, they don't want you to fucking uh, come to a funeral naked. I wasn't planning on doing that. Why Why Japanese hate foreigners? Yeah, they really don't like it if you take a shit on their child. On the train. I wasn't going to do that. I don't think any foreigners, I don't think any Japanese has done that too. And they do weird shit all the time. So, that was uh, the first video I get. Is why Japanese hate working with foreigners. What if I put out a video, not even why Americans hate working with Japanese, what if I just put out a video that said why Japanese hate working with foreigners, and I actually talked about the reasons they, because his reasons are all just made up. Um, but what if I actually was like, they hate working with us because they are racist. They would be like, well, that's hate speech. You can't say Japanese are racist. They're the most lovely people in the world. They're the only non-racist. Like, I I can post that fucking video, and what Japan also or not Japan what YouTube also promotes is that um what's his name I always forget his fucking name not Nobita he's not even really a problem he's just a pest I guess um Tokyo uh uh well ah oh, shit. I'm sorry, he's kind of worthless, but he's so prevalent, I gotta talk about him. Uh, it's like Tokyo, uh, Shotaro in Tokyo, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, but his, all of his videos are like, uh, foreigners are bad, blah, 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 blah. He just interviews people on the street, why do you hate foreigners? I hate foreigners because I think they've trashed the park. I don't see any foreigners in this park. Is that a Japanese person throwing his can in the bushes? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. Like, he, his channel is almost all hatred. Uh, would you fuck a foreign man? Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but this, all those channels, if you know even a slight bit of English, uh, just a smidgen of English. You can interview people, interview the Japanese people and say, why do you hate foreigners? Well, I think they suck ass. Oh, that's great. Let me post this. And YouTube will promote it. Uh, Like, all those channels are just like, they're bad, we're good. And YouTube's like, yeah, this is getting clicks. Okay, well, we're fine with this. So, I don't know, maybe I gotta go through all of his fucking... His archive and find, oh, this is we hate you, we hate you, we hate you, we hate you. And there's so many fucking comments. I don't know if you can ban someone for comments. I really not that familiar with YouTube actually. That are just in Japanese. Well, maybe that's the promise in Japanese. But they say like Chinese people, blah 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 blah. Is that not hate speech? I guess if you're Chinese, they don't give a shit. The the what was uh what was her name? Mrs. Eats or some shit like that. I don't even know her. She's fucking crazy. But she was like, and fucking Chinese people causing a ruckus in the sushi restaurant. Fucking, that's not hate speech? Yeah, well, here's how foreigners accidentally hurt our feelings. That's fucking hate speech. You're saying foreigners are doing this to you, and they're not. You're blaming them for all your problems. But, uh, I guess, Whatever. I don't know how to wrap this video up. Uh, I guess YouTube maybe uh, figure out how to actually deal with hate. There's literally Nazis on you. I mean, you guys allow people to say hateful things all the time uh, against every group, and you don't give a shit. What the fuck? We have, I think, like ninety six thousand. Subscribers. There's people with millions of subscribers who are like, I fucking hate women. I hope they all burn. And you're like, okay, this is okay. This is fine. Uh, fucking Ch Chinese is easy to pick on. Fucking Chinese people need to fucking die. Oh, okay, man. I'm okay with this. We don't like China. Oh, okay. Whatever. Or at least tell me what I did wrong. Uh, but I don't think you'll do that. So. 
whatever, I guess YouTube fucking figure it out. Email me back if you can. All right. See you guys later.